welcome to this Daily Bark. I'm Victor Vargas, and here we discuss ideas around composing art and life. And today, we're going to discuss composition being like a building. <laughs> composition, in my imagination, and I'm going to share that with you, is very, very much like building a building. If you're going to build your dream house, how would you do it? Would you just go out and start grabbing, you know, some tools and start trying to hammer things and put it together. If you did, you'd probably end up with a nightmare shack, not a dream house. Or would you go and just hire a contractor to start building, but without giving that contractor a plan? And so, no, what you would want to do is find a designer, someone who can tap into your mind, listen to what you desire, and taking their knowledge, begin to build a plan so that you can then take that and give it to a contractor. But not only a contractor, you can give it to a plumber, an electrician, and a form, you know, like the, the inspectors and all these different people that come into place to actually build the house. Uh, you would then give maybe those blueprints over to an interior designer so that uh, they can come in and begin to design the interior spaces. And so when composing a work of art, many, many times we sit down and we draw it out. And the first thing that we draw, we're like, look at it. And that's when Batman needs to kind of like stand up and whoop, and say, knock that off. It's not the drawing. That is merely the first sketch. Okay, and so, and the reason why I say that is this. You have so many things going on in a drawing, in a sketch. So many things. You have to, you have to manage your lines. You have to manage your curves. You have to figure out uh, what, what relationships that all of these things have in common. And if they don't, you have to give it something. You have to figure out what is the meaning, what is the subject, and how are you going to exaggerate that? How are you going to focus on that? How are you going to bring attention to that? How are you going to clearly communicate that to the viewer? There's so many things about value and texture and color that you're going to have to get into at some point. And so there is a process. And so rather than trying to jump in and mentally manage all of this stuff, which really becomes very overwhelming. Is there a way for you to go through a process and focus on each part of that, uh, the composition process? And there is, there is. And so you wanna go through a stage where you only focus on your lines and a stage where you only focus on your curves and a stage where you only focus on your values and your fields and your and how to bring it all together. So like a building, you're gonna, you know, at some point, you want to lay out a plan for your artwork. You want to lay out a plan for where the electricity goes. Let's say the electricity is uh, the lines, okay? How your lines are going to work with inside your shapes and your spaces. Uh, you bring in the plumber, and the plumber's going to, let's say, uh, take care of your curves, right? He's going to run your pipes. And you don't want, you know, your, your curves and your lines or your plumbing and your electricity to clash because that could be very very dangerous this dream house that you have could burn down uh, or get flooded out or whatever it is begin to manage all these nuances and details and the building process of, of, of a building you gotta lay a foundation you have to have a blueprint you, you have to have then your contractor and your contractor in this sense is gonna be your craft is your craft painting is your craft sculpture is your craft you know, screen printing T-shirts, you know, or screen or or silk screening artwork or posters or whatever it is. It be graphic design, web design, fashion design, interior design it doesn't matter. But there are elements in all of these things: value, space, shape, line, texture, color, <laughs> uh, curves, points. You know, all these things need to be managed. And there's a lot of things you got to think about. I always recommend to my interns and to my apprentices to take your time go step by step through the process and at the end then you have this work of art and it's a work of art because you've carefully cared for all these nuances you know it so intimately 
the science is right, as well as the philosophy is right, uh, the, the, the personality is right, the frequency of the piece is right, and you've spent enough time and you've cared enough about it that you've gone through the process, you know it at a very intimate, intimate level. Till next time, ciao.